Good afternoon to Rural Living with Paul and Gwen. <clears throat> I'm down here down in the forest. Having my tea. Oh, let me go grab it here. Just give me a second, I gotta put some of my gear away here. I my gloves are on. My walking stick, which I'll leave. Yeah, I just came down here to reflect a bit on the, the past year. So it's nice and quiet down here, stress free. Yes, last year wasn't that bad. A uh, few little hiccups along the way. Just living the farm life. Stress free. Sometimes. I may run into a, a deer while I'm down here, my forest reflection. Yeah, I just lost a good friend uh, not too long ago. Prostate cancer, 60. Real good guy, just a shame. How things happen for no apparent reason at all. Lived a very healthy lifestyle. I guess it, it was his time. And now my mom, she's uh, she's sick, but she's 87, so we're just going through the the old age thing, right? But she's she's a tough old woman. Hanging in there. Yeah, quite a few deer down here. And I don't allow hunting on the property. I figure if you need meat, just go to no frills. Unless I'm in dire straits, then possibly I'll start hunting on my property. But that's up in the air right now. I have a hard time killing a fly. Well, not not really. I, I don't mind killing flies, but you know what I mean. So Gwen's at work. Skittles the cat is doing the cat thing, sleeping. Tony, the remaining chicken, she's in the hut, just doing her chicken thing. So... Yeah, not too much uh, going on here. Gonna get down here uh, when it's dry next year and cut some of these trees down to widen up this trail so I can get down and with my truck and trailer and take some of these woods back. I'm sorry, take some of these, these trees back with me for lumber. <clears throat> and to all my friends that are watching my YouTube, which I commend you, some of it's pretty boring. Merry Christmas, belated, and Happy New Year.
So with this trail we cut, we don't really use it that much, but I see the animals are making good use of it, which is fine. Makes their lives a bit easier. Because they could go the next field over and get shot by a farmer, right? That's part of the lifestyle up here. A lot of hunting of coyote and, and deer. I realized coyotes coyotes are damaging to the to the farmers in some way or another, but my saying is uh live and let be until something happens. So nice and quiet down here. It's beautiful. Yeah, we we have ten acres of bush. So lots of privacy here. And this trail here, that and this part of the forest is not the best. I don't even think you can bring an ATV down here. But we did uh, widen it somewhat. And you see there's been a bit of storm, storm damage down here. Not too much. Pretty nice back here. I might widen out this spot here, just uh, pitch up a tent next year. It's kind of high ground. <clears throat> just to put up with all the wildlife. Because there are um, bear, bear sightings around the area, so. You have to be careful with that, but not in the winter, they're hibernating, supposedly. Okay, on that note, you folks have a good New Year's. Hopefully next will be better than the last due to this bloody pandemic. And uh, have a good have a good day. Thank you very much. Goodbye.